Um, let me give you my Joseph story. And everybody know that Joseph was a dreamer and God had purpose and destiny for his life. And so he went from the pit to the palace. But in the process, he had to go through some uh, uncertain moments that he didn't know he would survive. And uh, even during those times when he didn't know what the outcome was going to be, God was in it all the time. And that, that's pretty much my story. Um, uh, born, born to a, a father who was a pastor who uh, disowned me as his son and uh, raised by a stepfather who was an alcoholic and very abusive to me and to my mother. Uh, then moving from North Carolina to Delaware with my grandma. And at the time, it was about nine of us that lived in a two-bedroom house. My grandfather was a sharecropper, and, and uh, we used to take care of chickens anywhere from 50 to 80,000. Um, I used to collect the eggs. While doing that, I would preach to the chickens and sing to the chickens. Um, and then when I recognized the ministry that God had given me, my mother started working with me and I started traveling as a young evangelist. And at 15 years old, I met my biological father. And that's when I met other sisters and brothers that I'd never seen in my life. And, um, uh, and I remember when he passed, I went to his funeral and uh, I was really down and disappointed because I, I just felt like I'd missed so much out on life and family and and brothers and sisters and I was always what they call the black sheep of the family on my mom's side because none of my brothers really uh, cared for me. But uh, at my biological father's funeral, me and God had a conversation and uh, I wanted to know why did I have to go through some of the things that I went through, hated by my father, didn't know who my sisters and brothers were, abused by my stepfather, you know, and uh, the Lord ministered to my heart and said, uh, first of all, all things work together for the good to them that love him, who are the called according to his purpose. And then he said to me, I can't change your past, but your future is brighter than your past. And the Lord spoke to me and said, uh, before I can release the blessings of your future, you've got to be healed from the pain of your past. And so I stood at the gravesite of, of a dead man, my, my biological father, and I had to ask a dead man to forgive me, you know. And of course, that released the guilt uh, that I, I was living with and just began to move on with life. And God told me that he would place men in my life that would father me and mentor me. And he did just that. Bishop Charles Blake, uh, the presiding bishop of the Churches of God in Christ, West Angeles in Los Angeles, California, who now pastors more than 26,000 members. I became a member of that church, and, and not long after that, um, uh, God revealed to him gifts and talents that I had, and he kind of took me under his wing and made me one of his spiritual sons and just began to let me work in ministry full-time as the director of social services, executive minister of music, while at the same time reaching out to the community. Uh, my job was ministering to the uh, daily needs of the community. Um, there wasn't a week that went by when we didn't provide food, clothing, or shelter for the needy, uh, the homeless, on Skid Row in Los Angeles. And so God was teaching me how music is really just a backdoor approach to presenting the gospel of Jesus Christ. Music gets the attention of the heart, but the word of God changes the heart. And so that was a valuable lesson that I learned with that. And then uh, not long after that, I went into full-time ministry on my own, got married, have a wonderful wife named Karen. And we started traveling across the nation, ministering and teaching and preaching the Word of God and understanding that um, our purpose and, and God's mandate on our life is to be vessels that He can use uh, to win the loss to the kingdom of God, but ministering to the whole man, not just uh, spiritually, but physically as well. And so we've created our CDC department, community outreach and uh, working with foster care and, and, uh, and so many other community uh, 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 events that we, we're involved in. And so music just becomes the, I wanna call it the praise of the glory of God that presents Christ. Yeah.